I just uh, chaired a session regarding the best papers in art failure and uh, so my task is to summarize uh, some of the best papers and more important, uh, most important findings in art failure. Uh, first of all, generally we have epidemiology and uh, with regards of epidemiology we have had uh, uh, many analyses of uh, uh, the clinical characteristics and outcomes of the patients with heart failure and mid-range ejection fraction compared with those uh, uh, with reduced or preserved ejection fraction. In general, uh, patients with mid-range ejection fraction have uh, characteristics similar to those with reduced ejection fraction. Uh, for example, they, had, uh, they have a similar prevalence of coronary artery disease, but they have a better outcome. Uh, so that it is a milder form of uh, uh, left ventricular di systolic dysfunction. Uh, with respect of uh, uh, biomarkers, we have uh, seen uh, studies regarding uh, uh, multi-marker strategies uh, to assess uh, different uh, pathways leading uh, to different phenotypes of heart failure. Uh, for example, diabetics versus non-diabetics and uh, preserved versus reduced ejection fraction. Uh, with respect of medical treatment, uh, um, we have uh, uh, the larger trial presented this year, which is very important, uh, as unfortunately given uh, uh, neutral results. It is uh, the True HF, published in New England Journal of Medicine, regarding Eularitide versus placebo, administered for 48 hours to patients with acute heart failure. The results were neutral, but uh, as with uh, the large trials, they give important findings. A very smaller trial with uh, uh, a much smaller trial in a, a small uh, number of patients, but giving uh, interesting results, is Lionheart with intermittent levosimend and infusion, uh, showing uh, uh, benefits on, uh, also on the clinical course of the patients. Uh, Anti-diabetic uh, uh, treatment has become, uh, has become very important for heart failure. Uh, the CANVAS trial regarding canaglifosine in patients uh, with uh, uh, high, diabetic patients with high risk of uh, events uh, has confirmed a reduction in the heart failure hospitalizations and uh, a tendency to a reduction in mortality, which became uh, significant uh, in uh, uh, the patients uh, uh, with uh, uh, heart failure at baseline. And uh, these results are consistent with those with uh, uh, empaglifosine in Empareg. Then we have had a, a meta-analysis of different trials suggesting that insulin treatment may increase the risk of uh, mortality and uh, heart failure hospitalizations in diabetic patients. With respect to devices, interestingly, a uh, meta-analysis of four different trials has uh, uh, analyzed uh, the uh, role of sex, uh, eight, body weight and uh, QRS duration, uh, confirming that the most important uh, uh, variable uh, is QRS duration with respect to the efficacy of CRT uh, compared to control. Thank <laughs> you.